Welcome to Take You Through. Please like, subscribe and tap the bell icon to never miss any future videos. Today I will show you how to factory reset and restore an Apple Silicon M1 MacBook. In my previous videos I have showed you how to factory reset and factory restore the Intel MacBook Pros. Basically you need to restart your computer and hold the command and R buttons together and after a while you see the globe spinning or just the Apple loading a little bit longer and the Intel MacBook Pro goes to the recovery mode. From there you can erase your hard drive, you can restore to the latest macOS operating system. But how about the new M1 Apple Silicon computers? Well, it's a little bit different, but actually the new process is much easier. The first thing what we need to do is to turn off the computer and then press and hold the power button. That is right here. Most people don't know what is the power button to the new, new Macs because once you open the lid, the Mac already starts up. Very rarely do we even use the power button. The power button is the button here that is the Touch ID sensor. So, the first step again, we just click the Apple logo, click restart, and after restarting we need to hold the power button for 5 seconds. So, once the computer restarts and you hear the sound, now hold for 5 seconds and now you see continue holding for startup options keep holding loading startup options and now you can just remove your finger from the power button and this is the new screen and now you can see the Macintosh HD and the options this one lets you select a Mac OS system but we need to click to the options click options and click continue. There you have it. Basically, we are on the same recovery setup. So just choose your profile, click next, enter your password, click continue. And this is the screen as we know it from the previous Intel MacBook Pro's recovery mode. All the same stuff, restore from time machine, reinstall Mac OS Big Sur, Safari and disk utility. And we go to Disk Utility, click Continue. Moving forward, if you need to format all the SSD drive, people faced some issues, and that's because you need to delete Macintosh HD partition and this data, partition 2. So what are you gonna do? You click to Data, you just click here, the minus sign on Volume, click Minus, and it says Delete APFS Volume Data, and just click Delete Volume Group. Click Delete Volume Group, to erase and delete these volumes, you will need to fully erase this Mac. This will delete all media, data and settings on all volumes on this Mac. An internet connection will be required to reactivate this Mac and reinstall Mac OS. I am doing this step only because I know it's a fresh computer and there are no data inside. Please be aware to back up your computer and move all your data to the external hard drive before you proceed to the step. After it's done and you know the computer is empty, just click Erase Mac, Erase Mac and Restart. So this is the process that's a little bit different on the M1 Mac. Now the MacBook is restarting and it shows you the fresh new computer setup as you would just opened it as brand new. Let's shut down the computer. And once again, if you want to go to the recovery mode and just format your dr main drive, again, when you hear the sound, you just click the power button for five seconds. Once you hear, see the continue holding for startup options, loading startup options again, we can release the, the power button and again, we click Options, we click Continue. So, when you are back to the recovery mode, you can again click Disk Utility, you can click Continue. Now it shows Untitled, just the one volume. So, what you're gonna do is you click the Untitled and click the Erase option here. Click on it, you can click the original name, Macing Tosh HD or SSD or whatever you want. 
and the format must be APFS, just plain APFS. So that's how it goes and you just click erase button. After that it's erasing completely the computer and now you have it. There is no partition data anymore, just empty Macintosh SSD. So just click the exit button and click the second option reinstall Mac OS Big Sur. Click on it, click continue, click continue again, click agree, agree once again, click on the Macintosh SSD and continue. The computer is not connected to a power source but we see that this, the battery is fully charged. So just click continue, otherwise just plug in your computer to the power source. And now it's downloading from the Wi-Fi the latest Mac OS Big Sur. And this process is actually identical to the old MacBook Pros with Intel processors. So basically M1 recovery mode is activated just by restarting your computer and holding the power button for 5 seconds compared to the Intel MacBooks when you need to press Command and R buttons together when the computer starts. That's basically all and I won't bother you on the installation process because it will install the latest Mac OS Big Sur and after that you just register your Mac as a new Mac as you do it always or just restore it from the Time Machine backup. Thank you for watching.